Since the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline went into operation last year, more than 6 million people have contacted the line. Now the research indicates that a portion of callers who contact the Lifeline may never call 988 again. Our Be Mindful correspondent Avery Martinez joins us live now with more on this concern. Well, to start, I want to note that this research was trying to figure out how many people knew about 988, how many had used it, and whether they would contact that lifeline again. And the research authors noted that while they talked to roughly 5,000 people, there are questions about how generalized this information can be to the rest of the population. A key takeaway from this new research is that many people aren't sure if they would contact 988 again. And that research, mostly done online with more than 5,000 people from coast to coast, and it was focused on finding out who, uh, finding out who knew about 988 and then actually accessed it. Researchers found that people with severe psychological distress were more likely to have used or heard of 988. Only about a quarter said that they would go to 988 in a crisis in the future. However, the study's lead researcher has said the data should not mean the service is a failure. But it will take time to try and get things right. I reached out to Emergence Health Network, which runs the local 988 center, and they told me they were ready for 988's arrival. And communities across the country were in different states of readiness when 988 went into effect. Uh, because we had been providing crisis telephonic services for many years, El Paso was very prepared. So we didn't have those growing pains uh, that were associated with building a new service. The nationwide aspect of 988 only launched last year. Emergence Health Network is looking into a call satisfaction system in the future, something that researchers are advocating for. Coming up on ABC 7 at 6, we'll take a deeper dive into local numbers for EHN and look at why people may not contact that lifeline again. I'm Avery Martinez for ABC 7. Forward to it, Avery. Thank you.